How to not let metformin harm you. It's going to be a, a little funny, but very informative. Today, in this video, we'll discuss how to prevent metformin from harming you and even give you some tips on how to make it work better for you. Well, I'm an endocrinologist. I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm a Cleveland Clinic trained physician. I have written three books, two of it for you. So one of his uh, Ultimate Diabetes book. The other one is Doctor's Guide to Diabetic Diet. So you can find these books on our website at sugarmds.com. And I'm a physician practicing in Florida. Now, I want you to sit tight and don't panic. Metformin isn't some evil lurking in your medicine cabinet that are ready to pounce on you. No, no, not really. In fact, it is like a mischievous but good-hearted friend who can cause harm if not managed correctly. And you would think that uh, most doctors know how to manage it, but uh, you'll be mistaken in some cases. So if you don't want your pancreas to throw a house party without your permission, so you better stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Trust me, you will thank me later. Now, first things first, let's talk about what metformin actually does. It's gonna be a quick, it's not gonna be a whole an hour lecture. I'll make it quick. It works by reducing the amount of glucose produced by your liver, which is nice, right? It helps your morning numbers, improving the way your body responds to insulin, which is also nice. Here's a big misconception about metformin. They say it causes cancer. Now, you might have heard some rumors about metformin causing this big cancer word, but let's clear that thing real quick. And um, there's a little nuance there. Metformin does not moonlight as a cancer causing rogue. The only time it is really linked to cancer is when your pharmacy chains like CVS or Walgreens, which I'm not a big fan of, in a plot twist worthy of a mystery movie, sources these drugs from a questionable supplier in China to make sure that it's extremely cheap for them. And the next thing you know, your metformin is having a party with some cancer causing chemicals. So the real villain here is not necessarily metformin itself. Rather, it is poor quality control and sketchy sourcing practices. And when you're a big boy like this, nobody tells you anything. FDA will figure that out after everybody takes it five years later. They'll say, oh, well, let's make a recall. Um, there's even a book about how sketchy FDA approvals are on these generic drugs. They don't care because they don't really pay FDA that much. I mean, it is a whole shit show, maybe. So be sure to buy your medication from a reliable pharmacy. I like the mom and pop pharmacies, small pharmacies a lot better. Um, so like I said, metformin will behave just as it should be helping your managing blood sugar with no surprise guess. But also there are a couple of things you can do. Even then, even regular metformin sometimes can cause problems, but I'll tell you how to get rid of all that. So if you have noticed uh, by now, that your metformin, for example, may not be causing the stomach upset or a headache or a chest pain for you, then, then most likely you're probably good. As the, and you've been taking this for years and, and there is no contamination, hopefully, from cancer-causing chemicals. But here's the big bonus point that you can be safer if you use some natural herbs with it. Now, why? Well, the natural herbs come to rescue. Let's talk about it. Actually, they can prevent side effects, uh, even make metformin work better for us. The key is to turn to natural herbs that have similar benefits as metformin or support metformin and reduce the side effects of metformin and prevent issues that can happen down the road. For example, berberine, right? Or dehydroberberine, even better. These herbs have been shown to have similar effects on blood sugar control like metformin but without the gastrointestinal issues. Listen, I'm gonna talk about stuff that are not FDA approved. You know what happens when FDA approves something? The price is gonna go 100 times more. So, and to convince FDA, you have to pay them a good chunk of money, make studies that, for something that's already known to help, but to prove your point that the cinnamon that you eat every day can lower your blood sugar, you have to spend $300 million on average to have the FDA's blessing to say, this helps your blood sugar. You have to spend $300 million minimum. And then they'll say, oh, okay, we'll let you say that. Now, 
this spice has anti-inflammatory properties. I don't care what, what FDA thinks. I'm going to tell you what I know because I'm a physician and FDA does not control me, right? So let's talk about also gymnema. Gymnema is an herb that's been used in Ayurvedic medicine for like centuries. FDA was founded 100 years ago. This herb was founded 1,000 years ago. So you can see which one can be more reliable. It can help lo lower your blood sugar levels, reduce your cravings for sweet foods. Isn't that cool? How about bitter melon? Well, this vegetable, or some people call it fruit, right, contains compounds that have been shown to have a blood sugar lowering effect, making it a great addition to your diet if you have diabetes. Why do I say diet? Because these kind of things are not as strong as medicine, so you have to be taking it daily for a while, and it's better to have it in your diet sometimes. Now, the brilliant part about these natural herbs is that they not only have similar benefits as metformin, but they also pack a punch against those pesky side effects. You see, these herbs contain antioxidants. You know what it means, right? They help neutralize the side effects of metformin, if any. Wait, what? You will say, what, what, what? Well, how does that work? Well, imagine this. You're holding a party in your body and... There is this guy called Metformin, right? And uh, who has had way too many, you know what? And is causing a bit of a ruckus. Eh, let's call these side effects in this plot. Now, what do you do? You call in the bouncers, right? Hey, come in here. Uh, these natural herbs, the, you know, are your bouncers uh, to keep things under control. The antioxidants in these herbs neutralize the side effects, much like a bouncer coming down this unruly party goer. So using these herbs in combination with metformin is a bit like having your cake. That's effective blood sugar control in this case, right? I'm not saying really go have the cake. It's just a phrase and eating it too. In this case, minimizing the side effects. It is a win-win situation. Just remember, if your kidneys also are playing a hooky, meaning like you're functioning below 30%, you're almost dialysis, then you might want to proceed with caution as metformin can cause problems in very rare cases, one in a million or one in a three million, whatever, metabolic acidosis, never seen in my life. I've seen patients on metformin, maybe 50,000 people. I work, yeah, my ass off. And I worked in multiple places. I see a lot of new patients, etc., etc. But never seen a metabolic acidosis from metformin. That is a story for another day though. Now, that you're armed with knowledge of how to take metformin work for you. I would say, go ahead, go forth and conquer your diabetes journey. Some vitamins, some herbs and metformin may be all you need. Another way to prevent metformin from harming you is by making sure that you are getting enough vitamins. Now, why? Because most of people don't even know this, but metformin in the long term can cause a decrease in vitamin B12 levels. So it is important to supplement this vitamin or consume foods rich in B12, such as eating your eggs every morning, which I tell you all the time to help your blood sugar during the day. Start to love the fish. Love the fish. Fish is very good for you. And some dairy. Not so much, but a little bit. Now, you have all the tips now to help you prevent metformin from harming you. So don't start yelling at your doctor, don't give me metformin, this and that, unless you're having diarrhea, you're having bad stomach cramps, then you know metformin is really harming you, right? But just because you heard something weird about metformin, don't jump to the conclusion that all metformins are bad for you. There are things you can do to take the advantage of metformin, which is very inexpensive, by using these natural herbs, uh, ensuring that you're getting enough vitamins, you can take metformin and you, it will work for you without the negative side effects, which millions and millions and millions of people are taking it daily and they are doing great. Again, I'm not paid by the pharmaceuticals. They say, who pays metformin? Metformin is a generic drug, guys, okay? So let me tell you what happens. CVS or Walgreens, they buy it for 10 cents a bottle, uh, all right? They sell it to you for I don't know, five dollars. You know, they charge your insurance five to ten dollars a bottle. Is that really money? You think that's money making? You know, when you think about the overhead uh, of all that, metformin is really not a money making business. So don't accuse me for being pharmaceutical supporting. I hate pharmaceuticals. I hate anybody supporting pharmaceuticals. I'm just telling you though, if something is cheap and it's gonna work for you, take advantage of it. You know, metformin has been in the market for forty years. Now you've got some excuse, right? 
go for it. Get some salam cinnamon. Put on your oatmeal if you really love the oatmeal. Although I tell you to eat only a cup, not a whole bowl. But stay healthy, friends. Make sure you like this video. Make sure to keep the smile. Give a thumbs up and share this video. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.